Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about victim and victor mentality. I'm not sure if you follow football, uh, but in the NFL there's a team called Patriots, and the coach Bill Belichick and the quarterback Tom Brady have paired up for about 20 years, maybe 20 plus years, um, for having winning seasons. One notable thing about this duel is that before and after games when they talk to the press uh, typically when we take uh, Bill Belichick as an example when he talks about the other team uh, before the game he will point out the strengths and the positives uh, positive aspects of the other team so before the game he gives praise he gives credit to the other team for what they're doing well what they're good at and so on and then after the game, depending on whether they won or lost, um, uh, that is the Patriots, he will either give credit to his players if they won the game, and he will point out various things that helped contribute to the win, or he will take that accountability if they lost the game and talk about things that he could have done better, calls he could have made better, strategy or tactics he could have adjusted uh, during the game that would potentially help them win. So great leaders, what they do is they take accountability, is one, no matter what happens, and two, they give credit to the team around them, to the people around them. But if the team fails, they don't just go out there and blame people, specifically in public. What they do is they learn or look at what happened and they learn to adjust their own actions like what could i have done better to make the team succeed another example would be a leader within a company so let's say a leader sets out a 30-day goal for his team and at the end of those 30 days the team meets the goal does the leader then boast and say you know what i have great team we um uh, did great and it's all because of me that we achieved this goal or does the team leader um, basically go to each individual person and, and gives them the credit saying okay this person went above and beyond and they superseded their personal goal which contributed to the team goal and this person uh, while they were not able to maybe meet their individual goal but they were a great team member and by being a great team member, they actually contributed to this other person who went above and beyond with the goal. Um, and therefore, they're doing great as well because of their teamwork. And pointing out the great aspects of everybody on the team and how they contributed to the win. What about in case when uh, at the end of the month or at the end of those 30 days, the team did not meet the goal? Does this leader then blame every single person on the team saying you know you could have done more you could have done this you could have done that in order for us to meet the goal or does the leader look at his or her own strategy and tactics and what he or she has done how he or she has contributed to either coaching or guiding the team along to achieve or not achieve those goals so a great leader, what they will do is they will look at what has happened, they will analyze it, look at the data, and they will adjust their own behavior as well as the direction that they're setting for their team in order to have that win. So uh, with victim mentality versus victor mentality, great leaders are winners, and whether... Um, short term they win or lose they will learn from something that they didn't win and they will continue to get better and better people who are, have a victim mentality they will blame everybody around them and that gives them the freedom to do nothing and when they do nothing they stay in the same circumstance so no matter where they are they blame the company the people around them they go to another company and realize that that company is no better um, and then they blame people there and they just kind of go through life blaming others thinking that everything is everybody else's fault and they just have a horrible life because of everyone around them there's a saying um, in ukraine especially it is better over there 
where we are not. It doesn't quite translate as great in English, but what it means is it's always better somewhere out there, and as soon as we enter that environment, then it's horrible. So it's another kind of a reminder to take accountability. And wherever we are, we need to see how can we improve that environment? How can we take the accountability and do better around us? All right, so just let's recap really quick. Uh, victims, they typically praise themselves and they blame others. Victors typically praise others and then not really blame themselves, but they take responsibility on themselves for things they could have done better. So one thing I'd like to um, kind of point out is uh, a little bit more as, as far as within organizations. Usually within an organization, you have multi-level of leadership. You have, as an example, in um, uh, construction, you have people in the field doing the actual installs. Then you have somebody in the field who is the lead person on the team. Then you have somebody in the office who schedules and manages um, the people out there or the crews out there and is responsible for overseeing the quality of the work. And then you have uh, like a general manager or somebody uh, slightly higher up and then you get into your executives depending on the size of the, the company. So let's say there's an issue in the field and something was not installed with a quality that it was supposed to be installed. So if you're talking to the executive or the owner of the company, uh, should the owner take the accountability for what was done two, three levels down from him or her? If the leader is uh, a victor, he will actually, he or she will actually take that accountability and be like, you know what, this is my company or you know, I'm leading it. If something happens at that level, it's as though I did it and did it incorrectly. Now, that kind of mentality should permeate all the way through all the levels down. So then the person who schedules and manages and, and makes sure that the quality of the work is done should have the same kind of an attitude. If an installer did something wrong, it's almost it's as though it's the manager's fault, um, even though the installer is the one who did it. And then you go down the level and the crew lead. You know, if it was a helper that did something wrong, the crew lead needs to take the accountability for it. And then eventually the helper should be the one looking at it and be like, okay, I messed up here. I need to fix it. I need, you know, it was my fault and I need to learn from it. So each and every person at every level needs to take that accountability and see like, okay, in the future, if I'm uh, leading the whole company, what do I need to do? What kind of process do I need to put in place? What kind of checks and balances do I need to put in place to make sure that we don't get that issue in the future? And then again, uh, kind of permeating all the way down to the lowest level, each person needs to look at themselves and be like, what do I need to do to make sure we don't face that same problem next time? If each person at every level does that, there will be checks and balances, there will be training, there will be whatever is needed to be to make sure the same problem does not reoccur over and over and over again. All right, so some lessons learned from uh, victim and victor mentality. If a person is in the victim mentality, they basically give up their control. Things that, they, that are actually under their control, they're giving it away to whoever is around them. So their lifestyle, their life stays the same as it was, regardless of who's around them. They make it new friends, new people, new environments, but their quality of life pretty much stays the same no matter where they are. And then the same issues that they have had in the past, they resurface with new people, with new environments. So nothing changes. So that person typically will continue to blame others and not really grow anywhere unless something changes. And then if a person changes their mindset and takes the accountability, takes on extreme ownership of everything around them, then what will happen is they will start looking and seeing what can I do better? And by taking action on what they can do better, they actually create a better life for themselves. So they personally grow, they grow their skills, they grow their ability to communicate with people, 
by growing their lifestyle and life around them changes for the better. So in this video, just wanted to encourage you to be a victor, get out there and win. See you in the next video.